So on Monday at Jeffrey Clark's hearing where he was trying to get his case moved from state court to federal court, there was somebody in that audience that really didn't have a reason to be there other than to just find out what the hell was going on. And that individual is a man by the name of Steve Sadow, who happens to be one of Donald Trump's lawyers. Now, Trump wasn't in court yesterday. He wasn't a part of the hearing, but Trump's lawyer decided, you know what? Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to see what all this is about, right? It seems kind of important. Want to know what this guy's going to say. And according to witnesses inside the courtroom, at one point, while the judge of course was grilling Jeffrey Clark's lawyers, Mr. Sadow leaned over to the person with him. And unfortunately the reports have not identified that individual, but he said, quote, this is not good. Trump's lawyer, upon hearing how the judge was handling Clark's lawyers, Upon hearing, of course, that Clark's lawyers threw Donald Trump under the bus and said, hey, Clark was only doing it because Trump told him to. At one point, Trump's own lawyer leans over to his person with him and says loud enough for other people to hear, this is not good. Um, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, the fact that we now know that you are essentially panicking in the courtroom on a part of a case that's not even related to your client. Well, it's related to your client. That was probably a foolish thing for me to say, but it didn't involve your client. Okay. Your client wasn't there. You had you know, really no reason to be there. And now that you went there, you've made an ass of yourself and let everybody know that you're now worried for your own client's future. You couldn't have screwed that up any more. The best thing to do, as I've said about Trump, as I've said about Giuliani, pretty much everybody, sometimes the best thing to do is say nothing. If you're panicked about something and you're a lawyer, you should know this, but I'll teach you anyway. You got your pad or you got your phone out taking notes and you mark a little note, talk about what the judge just said that made you nervous. You put a pen in it and you talk to your co-counsel later on in private. You don't lean over to them in court, especially loud enough for other people to apparently hear you and say, this is not good. You may as well have leaned over and said, Trump is definitely going to jail. I mean, that's essentially what you're saying anyway. Why not just come out and say that? But if Trump's lawyers are freaking out, that's probably a good sign for justice, right? It means that they're watching as this judge handles these other defendants and they know that if their weak legal arguments cannot pass the muster, then their even weaker legal arguments are not going to fly with this judge. They were hoping they could get in there, steamroll everything, throw out Donald Trump's idiotic talking points and everything would be cool from that point forward. But they are quickly learning that that is not the case. And this is not good. That statement tells us that that lawyer just had an epiphany in that courtroom that, oh God, what I've been crafting in my head, maybe the defense we've been talking about back at the office, that ain't going to fly. And now we don't know what to do. That's what that tells me. Now they've got time to come up with a new defense, maybe craft some new arguments, but if they've already lost their initial defense because of how scared they were with that judge on Monday, then I don't think anything they come up with at this point is going to be any better. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.